channel this is Dolly Smith coming back at you with another video I'm so excited to be here with everyone today if you're brand new to my channel welcome 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 my name is Dolly I'm just a typical millennial who's out here and just not trying to be broke for the rest of my life so I literally wanted to make a financial change so I started keeping my change literally pennies nickels quarters dimes whatever I got I'm throwing it into the savings account I'm throwing it on the debt I'm budgeting over 6k of debt paid off so far if you want to join me on my journey don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for those of you who are already subscribed thank you so much I appreciate everyone's time let's go ahead and get into today's video we're gonna be talking all about credit and specifically how I got started with credit what my application process looked like what did it look like after I got approved and what exactly did I start charging on it in order to start building my credit let's go ahead and get right into it first things first how did I even learn about credit way 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 back in the day when we had able in the house that I was living in I was able to turn on the TV and watch this really cool show called biz kids and it's a show about kidpreneurs and how to start your own business even if you are a kid one day I was kind of you know looking through the videos because I was really really hungry for financial information and by the way this was in my mid 20s that I was doing this um, I was looking for this show and I was like okay oh wow they they have a credit episode so I watched it everything that I had heard from like Fox and and all the other financial things that I was listening to and I was just in there like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and in the back of my head I'm like what the heck does any of this mean when I watched bids kids I was like oh so credit is just basically you know a financial institution or a bank or credit union basically lending you a certain amount of money and they're expecting you to use it pay it back on time they report that out to the credit bureaus and that's how you get a credit score got it don't know why everybody else's explanation just went right over my head but apparently it did after seeing that explanation I was like okay let me just pop on over to my local financial institution and go in there and say hey I would like to apply for a credit card what did my application process look like it was actually pretty smooth we walked into the bank signed into the little kiosk was called back by a representative and because some of my information was already in the system that was actually imported into another screen and she just asked me verbally for some other information and then boom my application was submitted and I was denied some time went on after I got the information that, you know, I was declined and the representative did give me the option of maybe looking into a secure credit card which is the bank putting some money on hold in your savings account. I think she gave me like an estimated amount of like $500 because they do have minimums for secure credit cards, but you basically back a credit card with your own money and it still helps you to go ahead and build credit. So as she was explaining this, I was just like, okay. I was thinking to myself, like, ma'am, like, you see what's in my savings account right now. Like, there are moths flying out of my savings account right now. Like, I'm going to have to save up that $500. So I just said, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I went on about my day. Later on, I got a call. They were like, Miss Smith, you know, we reviewed everything, meaning the underwriters for that financial institution. And they said, you're approved. Oh my goodness, I'm approved for my very first credit card. Like, I'm so excited. Now the question is, I'm approved. I have this card what do I put on it? I was in school very naturally I thought hey I can put my book rentals on here I can put my tanks of gas on here and as soon as they post to my account meaning that they're not showing up as pending anymore I just went ahead and made my pay like I didn't wait for the statements cut because I know me. so I was like I don't know how that happened I don't know if the representative maybe asked them if they could take a second look I don't know if that's something that they automatically did but it happened last question did it actually help and the answer is yes 
the most important way that it actually helped me is that I actually became comfortable with credit. I was actually very afraid of credit before all of this. I was afraid of debt in the beginning and it was really kind of stunting me from really kind of opening my mind to different areas of financial literacy. So I was very excited about that. I definitely look forward to seeing and learning more about finances and financial literacy. Some days I still watch YouTube videos. It seems like the information just seems to totally go over my head, but I know if I keep researching the information, eventually something is going to come up where I will have my aha moment and I'm able to make my next step. So with that in mind, we're gonna keep researching, keep living, keep the change to make a financial change and i will see you all in the next video dolly smith out